judicial system is the lawyer. And so we have to raise the standards for admissions of lawyers. And what is more, uh, I was suggesting, and we're studying it in our committee, mm -mm. to limit the bar examinations to four subjects only. For example, civil law, the media law, uh -oh. political law, and criminal law, the really basic subjects that mm -mm. beginning practitioners need to be able to go into private practice. Okay. Mm -mm. In order to pre more, more units for developing specific careers for lawyers. For instance, uh, they can, like Ateneo is doing, is starting, beginning to do it now, because at my uh, suggestion with said pray. Yes. We're trying to work out where the academy will develop those who want to become judges yes. and develop their sensibilities for being judges, their values, as well as their ability to dispose of cases. And some who will be litigators, and then some who will go into commercial practice. So that first year and second year, may be devoted to studying the basics. Mm -hmm. So anyway, when you become a lawyer and you work with a law office and you start to practice, that's the time you look into specialized laws like intellectual property. Mm -hmm. You don't need to pass the bar, no intellectual property to pass the bar. That's not the point, really. Well, in all countries, they don't have an exam like us where we cover all the, the laws. <clears throat> they only cover the really major subjects. That's why I said, <clears throat> Is our curriculum is so crowded that law, the students just learn <coughs> the law, but not the practice of the law. I think that's what reform that we are looking at, uh, Your Honor. Okay. Now, so aside from activating the Legal Education Board, which I think they are just starting to take off, no. If you will be fortunate to be nominated and appointed as the next Chief Justice, how do you intend to regulate these law schools, aside from what you have stated? Well, <clears throat> I have no, <clears throat> even if I become Chief Justice, I will have no power to close down these schools. But, uh, well, I will invite the, I certainly would invite all the deans <clears throat> and maybe talk talk in schools, mm -hmm. go there again, I, I visited them, and then uh, ask them to, well, see their problem. No, what, what is their problem? Why is it that their students are not per performing very well? Okay. We have to investigate the causes. It, it does not work sometimes that you just say, uh, you close them down. No? Sometimes you have to see, well, why is it not working for them? Why is it working for other schools? I will encourage such kind of conversation. Okay. In relation to this, there is a question from our Twitter, you know, Justice, and I will read it. How do you respond to criticisms that your bar reforms, namely MCQs, will produce lawyers who are good at guessing but can't argue? My what? what my new, my new MCQ. MCQs. Ah. MCQ. Well, my answer to that is this. Multiple choice questions is a tested measuring stick. Yeah. No? It is not as if we are inventing it. Mm. The whole world, there's no professional regulation uh, authority in the world that does not use multiple choice. Okay. Because it's really, uh, what do you call that? It's really time tested. Mm. Do you know that uh, multiple choice in a sense, asking these questions in a sense is, is, is you cannot really, let us see, when you teach law, I don't know if uh, some of you have taught law, you teach a subject, let us say evidence, when the finals come, how many questions do you ask? Ten questions, problem questions. Okay. So if they can answer 80% of those problem questions, even if you taught them 1,000 principles and evidence, your assumption is that they know 80% uh, of your uh, of that one one thousand, okay. so in a sense it is uh, statistics, huh? Mm -hmm. Sampling, taking the sample from the mind of the students. So, mm -hmm. multiple choice is good because you ask one hundred questions, and the answers are exact. It is good for sampling. Okay. 
If you ask 100 questions in a subject, you can be certain, scientifically, they say, with 3% error, that you are able to test the percentage of knowledge that the person has on the subject. That's why we adapted it. Okay. So. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Okay. But we also have essay. Uh, we have an essay uh -uh. portion of the exam. Uh -uh. But our portion of the essay of the exam require the candidate to prepare a trial memorandum that lawyers do. Mm -hmm. Trial memorandum. So that he should, we want to test his ability to sort out the relevant facts, identify the issue, and prepare convincing arguments. See? Because uh, multiple choice will not show true intelligence. Multiple choice will not show creativity. But the essay portion of our exams, graded by four examiners, by the way, not by just one. We have four examiners grading the, multi, the uh, trial memorandum and then uh, assessing the ability of a person to prepare the trial memorandum. And do you know the result of this? The lowest schools have begun to shift the direction of their education from teaching the law to the practice of law. Oh, okay. this, is the, this is what we have done. That's the good thing that you get out of it. Okay. Now, Justice, this is another question from a concerned citizen. No? Having been in the judiciary since 2009, have you ever re reversed yourself when deciding cases and casting your vote? Oh, yes. Please cite a specific example. Well, I, I think the one, mm. I hardly changed my vote, but I changed uh, my vote in that case of uh, Mabal, uh, no? Uh, uh, no, 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 uh, uh, Manotok. I'm sorry, I have so, to consult my more, uh, uh, what do you call that, photographic-minded uh, justice. I think in the, in the Manotok case, that involves, yes. well, it's still pending, so I don't want to comment on the merits of the case. I, I, is it dismissed already? Well, anyway, in that case, uh, oh. well, I, I changed my vote because I felt that the first time I voted, it was a knee-jerk uh, vote in the sense that the decision, the, the Ponencia's recommendation was to give the land to the government. Okay. I, my knee-jerk reaction is, if it goes to the government, then no, that's fine. Okay. But I realized that uh, later on, why are we giving it to the government? The perspective government did not claim it. The government claims that it already sold it okay. to Manotok. So, mm -hmm. so even now, problems are rising concerning that because Manotok has sold some of the properties to others, and now the government will be the owner of this property. It's really a problem. No? That's why I, I changed my vote. Uh, okay. I think I don't know if I'm the only one that changed my vote because I saw the wisdom of uh, the other vote. My last question, Justice. So if he will be appointed as the next Chief Justice, what is the one important legacy that you wish to leave after leaving the court? Well, well I, I should be the Chief Justice that changed a lot of things. <laughs> because I want to change a lot of things. Can you? Name a few well, of those things which you want to change. So, chase congestion and all those things. Okay. And uh, I have many other projects, by the way. I was speaking to Secretary De Lima about this problem. Because, you know, the, we have so many criminal cases. About 50% uh, or more of our cases are criminal. Mm -hmm. The reason to that is that about 30 years ago, uh, I don't know if you remember, you can file a case in court, Bureau of Fiscal, if there is prima facie evidence. That's somewhat a higher level of evidence. But for somehow, they change it to probable cause. Probable cause is just a belief. Yes. And do you know the, how far away probable cause from proof beyond reasonable doubt? It's so, so, so large. See, that's why many fiscals are telling me, or judges in... Uh, or oh, fiscals in uh, Laguna, or some of my friends there, they told me that in some of these drugs cases, they know that the investigator is lying because they use using standard, uh, what do you call that, the standard facts that uh, he dropped it, he saw it, and those, those things. He saw him carrying it, 
They have some very standard. They use even the template of the previous affidavits. Mm. So they know that the, the case should not be filed. But the, but the, the, um, the police officers would say, but Your Honor, if our affidavits contain all the elements of the crime, you have no right to dismiss.